Ilangi Lang Tree, agroplants.org, also known as Kananga odorta, odorata. So this tree, uh, it's perennial evergreen or semi-decious in a colder area. It's mostly used for the fragrant and uh, really when you go next to this tree or even not really next to, like a few, few meters from the tree, when it's fully bloomed, you just smell a pleasant, very pleasant, and I barely sm have a s smelling sense. I just uh, most, of, most of the time have cold, like 364 days a year, as you can hear. And this I could smell. It's so strong, so pleasant, so sweet, fragrant. It's just, it just amazing. Uh, so this is the reason to grow it mostly. Uh, be aware that the fruits are also edible. You can grow it as a bonsai or as a dwarf tree and possible even to grow it in container. You can, uh, if you would like to grow it, uh, be aware that uh, there is Ilang Ilang tree, Ilang Ilang vine. It's not the same. Uh, Ilang Ilang tree, uh, it's just better uh, uh, scent, better fragrant. And the Ilang Ilang vine, it's just uh, stronger and you can grow it, uh, it's easier to grow. Uh, so, if you, you want to purchase, there is a link below, link is the right top side. And if you purchase, it's a great donation for this channel. Also, uh, don't forget to, uh, to subscribe, this is really helpful for this channel to grow. So, you can grow in a variety of climate, tropical, subtropical or Mediterranean climate. You can grow in hardiness zone of 10B+. Uh, with the right care, especially uh, when it's really, really young, after this it uh, becomes stronger. Uh, hardiness zone of 9B to 10A, it's possible with the right overwinter care. Uh, it's been cover it, I, uh, I have video, you can check it out about how to take care of trees over the winter. So the leaves are uh, green, as you can see, very beautiful. Flowers are showy, it's unique uh, structure of flowers, very fragrant. Uh, six petals, uh, but this is uh, like dead information. Fruits are edible, as I said, they are uh, purple with a seed in one se with small seed inside. Uh, except this, uh, in order to grow it, better to have above five uh, Celsius. It's been forty one Fahrenheit. Uh, high humidity, rich soil, moist soil. Uh, covers the soil with mild, mulch and organic matter. Really important uh, to to keep the rich soil. Fertilize uh, three to four times a year. Depend uh, where you live. Hotter the area will be. Four times it will be better, and also it will grow in the tropical much better than the subtropical. Uh, you can grow it uh, by to start to grow it by seeds, plant or cutting. Air layering. It's air layer. It's also option. Uh, if you want to start by cuttings, so it's been above 26 degree, 26 degree uh, Celsius will be the best. Except uh, 26 degree, of course, moist soil. You can also have, uh, uh, how do you say it, uh, high humidity you need to have uh, to start with the uh, peat soil and hormones for the root growth. It will be better. Uh, it's highly recommend with greenhouse or a small plastic box like a greenhouse, you could call it greenhouse, uh, make hole of course, I will make a video for you about it, uh, so 26 degree if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, 70, 75, 76 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, it's hard to grow from seeds and it's easier in the air layering or just cutting, uh, no cutting it's not really easy. Uh, but it's possible. You, in order to grow it, uh, you need to plant it from the spring to the summer in hardiness zone of 9 to 10A. Spring to the autumn in hardiness zone of 10B to 11. All the year in hardiness zone of 12 plus. Major pests are the aphids. Uh, pruning season will be in the end of the autumn until the winter after the fruits. Uh, except this. Uh, if you want to pick up the flowers, uh, better to keep the tree small, it's just easier. Uh, it can grow from 5 to 30 meters, uh, it's been 15 to 10 feet, uh, 200 feet, sorry. 
uh, but you can grow it as a bonsai or a dwarf you will get flowers also in the right condition sorry in amazing condition it will be a fast growing tree except usually it's a medium growing not uh, require average to big amount of water will grow the best in full sun to half shade they will bloom it's bloom okay in half shade I saw it bloom very well and um, maybe a little bit better in full sun except this the blooming season will be from the spring to the summer and uh, it's a tract of course pollinators uh, fruits will be from the summer to the autumn you can use it uh, mostly for jams and cooked uh, possible also to eat it raw it takes three to four years to have fruits and also flowers uh, so now the information about uh, how to plant it so how to plant it and don't worry will be how to, how to grow it from seed so stay uh, for the seed so how to plant it uh, dig a hole bigger than the root ball better to have 50 percent uh, put organic matter hummus dry leaves mix uh, all this with the soil take back the soil uh, put the tree directly after you cover some of the you know to make it directly the size of the root ball uh, above the hole put uh, put mulch cover the tree uh, don't push too much the soil make it uh, lightly uh, because uh, you need if it's a tree you need maybe to put something to to support the tree especially if you have a lot of weeds uh, as I said put mulch to keep the soil moist and put water every day even twice a day morning and afternoon and until you see that the tree is established until you start after it's a little bit established you see a new leaves or something like this uh, just put uh, reduce the amount of water to the right amount that it's fit for you uh, again water it's uh, it's a little bit headache to explain because there is so many uh, power matters that affect the amount of water that you need to put for a plant uh, it's wind sun and much more than this if you want to grow it in a container uh, better to have a bigger container it means you will have more flowers uh, you can also grow it in a 5 to 10 gallons so it's made like uh, 5 gallons I, I, I think it's too much small but 10 gallons you will see flowers also and fruits uh, you can start with small container and just increase over the time because uh, if you use pit soil uh, it's rotten over the time and it looks less uh, it's just the viability of the soil it just disappear so it's something that will be a little bit problematic so start with small and switch as long as the plant is uh, growing every two years or something like this uh, start with 30 to 50 percent bigger than the root ball and then you can switch after two years mostly after this when arrived to the desirable size you should actually uh, make a, a, take the, some soils every few years from the side it's just easier because to switch all big pot I talk about uh, 20 gallon or something like this it's it's really hard no point and it's just better to take some soil from the side and try it from the down if it's possible if not it doesn't matter so how to grow it by seed, from seeds so better to soak the seeds at least 24 hours also 36 or 48 will be okay little warm water in the beginning uh, better to to do it in the actually in the spring i will explain why because uh, spring when it's a little bit hot it doesn't like cold water and it might affect uh, the soil better to plant it in a rich soil uh, or lightly acid soil uh, it just perform better that's what i saw uh, keep the, if you, when you sow it keep the soil uh, moist with high humidity uh, be aware that uh, if you have so much seed you just can direct in sunny location but if you don't have you need to give all the all the things that i will explain uh, sowing season will take from the spring uh, will be in the spring uh, possible in the summer tropical can be all the years the main problem with this seed that it take uh, in amazing situation which will after one month will germinate uh, usually it's take few months uh, four to eight months even one year even after two years it will germinate so it takes so much time and this is why you need to choose the right soil uh, 
peat soil, I'm not sure that will be good enough. Uh, but I don't have another idea, maybe just vermiculite with the peat soil, something to mix it a little bit. Uh, but again, the rich soil is slightly acid. There is a mixture that you can create, it's just a little bit uh, work to do it. Uh, okay, uh, after it germinate, keep it in full sun and keep the soil moist, water it regularly and better with humidity. If you don't have humidity, once in a few days just spray it with water. It will be enough, but uh, don't forget it. I think it's important. Except this, uh, it's quite of uh, beautiful and amazing fragrant to grow it. Uh, I highly recommend if you have the option, uh, because every year I'm amazed by the amazing smells of this plant. Just amazing. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course purchase a plant and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy and come visit us again.